Fabulous. So welcome one and all. There may be more people joining um, and there may be more people on Facebook. I'm not sure who else we've got on Facebook. Oh, yes, we've got someone else. We've got another Lauren watching on Facebook. So welcome. Uh, and I'm Susan and I'm the vicar. It does say my name there, but it doesn't say that I'm the vicar. Um, and I haven't got my collar on because I'm wearing tinsel instead today. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. So, Catherine, could you share up the first screen, which is the welcome screen? And then we'll go into singing our first carol. That looks like the end of the presentation. So we'll just scroll back through. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Thank you. So welcome to the crib service. And this is the first carol that we're going to sing. And it's a little town of Bethlehem. I can see you down the side, so I will be watching to check that you're singing with me. Okay. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie above thy deep and dreamless sleep. The silent stars go by, yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. O oh, morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to all on earth. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all while mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his hand. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him, still the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, he sent to us, we pray. Comfort us in and enter, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, a great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us. So I'm going to light our Advent candle. Actually, I've got four Advent candles to light. I'm going to show you this thing that I've got on the screen. Catherine, would you like to stop sharing for a moment then? Thank you, that's wonderful. Now then, I don't know how big you can see this. If you put yourself on speaker view, you'll see it's a little bit bigger, but I have got um, a very special wreath that we've been using with the words hope, peace, joy and love on them. And each Sunday in Advent, I've lit a candle and put it on one of those. And then for Christmas Eve, special treat, I'm going to light the one that goes in the middle as well. We normally save that until a little bit later when it's dark. 
but you know what it's a different year this year so we're going to do that one as well so i've got four well five candles to light and then a little prayer to say on the table i hear lots of yeah lots of little candles oh no that one went out i have spare candles thank you abby surprisingly it takes a long time to light four or five doesn't it so i'm lighting one for hope one for peace one for joy one for love and then the final one and some of you will know that this one represents jesus christ who is born later this evening we'll celebrate that this evening so so while i'm holding that one i'll read the prayer god of hope who brought love into this world be the love that dwells between us god of hope who brought peace into this world be the peace that dwells between us god of hope who brought joy into this world be the joy that dwells between us god of hope the rock we stand upon be the center the focus of our lives always and particularly this christmas time amen so i'm going to put that I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it from where you where i have to put it but over here in front of my cross Thank you very much. So I'm going to hand over now. We're going to have our Bible reading. So Kevin and Katrina are going to lead for us um, the next part of the service. We're going to start with our, our readings with Mary and Joseph travelling to Bethlehem. At that time, Emperor Augustus sent out an order for all the citizens of the empire to register themselves for the census. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the town named Bethlehem, where King David was born. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register himself with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him, and she was expecting a baby. I invite anyone dressed as Mary and Joseph to give us a wave or to share Mary and Joseph's crib figures. You might want to unmute if you're showing us something and just say, I've got this. Oh, look at those lovely crib sets. They are fabulous. I've got Mary and Joseph from the... Um, Posada, these are the ones that you've seen on Greenway Posada traveling around. They're just having a little rest here tonight before I send them back out on their journey. Wow, that's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing those. Oh, look, Julian's showing us a picture of them as well. <gasps> Thank you. The birth of Jesus. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them to stay at the inn. I invite people to show the baby Jesus in our crib sets. I will show you the Posada baby. Oh, that's so tiny. Oh, it's all the way around. <laughs> You can unmute and show us, tell us who you've got if you want to, and then just put yourself back on mute. Have you got a baby from your crib set? Yeah, I can see quite a few crib sets. They look lovely. Oh, well done, thank you. I've got to show you the donkey. <laughs> There's baby Jesus. Oh, and a donkey. Well done, whoever showed me a donkey. That was fabulous. Have we got anyone dressed as baby Jesus? Probably not. <laughs> 
Thank you. The angels visit the shepherds. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I'm here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your saviour is born, Christ the Lord. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. I invite anyone dressed as an angel to give us a wave or to show angels from our crib sets. Oh, look, Jennifer's giving us away because she's dressed as an angel. Anyone else dressed as an angel? And angels on crib sets? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I have an angel. Oh, sweet. We like that one. That's very nice. She's very nice. She's not very scary, is she? She's cute. Angel scary. Angels were scary in the Bible, but yeah. she's not scary. Or he. They can't yeah, be in the be an <laughs> Should we go back? Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. The shepherds come to the stable. When the angels went away from them, back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, that the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. And when the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it were filled with wonder at what the shepherds told them. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back singing praises to God for all that they'd heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. I invite anyone dressed as a shepherd to give us a wave or to show shepherds from our crib sets. I haven't got a shepherd, but I have got two sheep. Anyone got any sheep? Yay, sheep! We've got sheep and shepherds there. Pictures of sheep and shepherds everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Jennifer's sheep is huge. Look, they're like us, a bit like yours. And shepherds, thank you, Sophie and Emily, showing us crib set ones. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> They are lovely. Anyone dressed as a sheep? <laughs> yeah, I you me, I wasn't allowed load. to do that again. <laughs> I quite like the idea of being dressed as a sheep. Anyway, there you go. I haven't got shepherds, but I have got sheep. Thank you. The wise men visit Jesus. Soon afterwards, some wise men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, where is the baby born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it came up in the east, and we have come to worship him. When they went on their way, they saw the star, the same one they'd seen in the east, and it went ahead of them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. How happy they were! What joy was theirs when they saw the star! They went into the house and saw the child with his mother Mary. They knelt down and worshipped him. Then they opened their bags and offered him presents of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I invite anyone dressed as a wise man to give us a wave or to show us wise men from their crib sets. <laughs> Shall I? I made this crown at school. Yay, that's lovely. I've got a crown as well. It's not very pretty. Yours is much prettier. Anyone else got a crown? I've got a camel. Uh, Julian wants to say he was the wise man in his school play. He was Melchior. Hey, well done, Julian. Thank you for sharing. Who else have we got showing us? Oh, we've got a star as well. There's a star there. And we've got the crib set. Sophie and Emily are showing us the crib set as well. 
we've got everything. And George is showing us some as well. Thank you. I might take my crown off now because I don't like hats. Abby's wearing it. Is that the end of the story, Kevin? That is the end of the story, yes. So we've gone all the way through the story from Mary and Joseph travelling that long journey and to the baby being born in an unusual situation, not in a hospital and not in a nice comfy bed, but in, um, in a bit of a, a humble place. And then finally, we talk about it today, but eventually the wise men come to visit with their gifts. Thank you so much for sharing with us, um, those of you who've dressed up and those of you who've got your crib set stuff out. Thank you so much for showing us those things. That's wonderful. It helps us to share the story. Um, and I'm just going to say hello to a couple of people on Facebook as well. So we've got Liz as well on Facebook and Sophie and Jane. Hello, um, if you're on Facebook as well. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Right, we're going to sing again. Um, I thought you sang beautifully last time. Well done. And this time we're going to sing Away in a Manger. Yeah. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky. And stay by my side until morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me. Pray, bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. So I hope you enjoyed singing along with that most beautiful um, carol that we, we probably all sing every year at least 10 times and this year is no different. So we are now going to uh, go to our story. Um, Lisa is going to share with us the story called Granny Goes to Bethlehem and as you can see on the screen it was written by a lady called Kathy Weston and the book itself is illustrated by Amelia Rosato and so and then after that we're going to have prayers led by Kath and the Lord's Prayer. So um, if you'd like to come off screen share and we'll hand over to Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Granny goes to Bethlehem. Long, long ago in a far off land, a baby was born in a stable. His mother's name was Mary, but everyone knows this lovely story already. What everyone doesn't know is that the three wise men and the shepherds were not the only visitors that night. Rumbling along in their old horse and cart came Mary's mum and dad, Jesus's granny and granddad. And because they wouldn't leave him behind, 
they had brought their little dog, Reuben, with them. Reuben was a bit old and a little bit smelly, but they loved him anyway. They had had him since Mary was a little girl. Now, Mary's mum didn't know how she'd known, but she'd just known. She supposed that something had told her to come. As Mary's dad said, there was just no stopping her. And just as well if you ask me, said Mary's mum, looking around her. Joseph, what were you thinking of? Bringing our Mary on such a journey just before the baby was due. Good gracious, is that a cow in here? And who are all these old men? And a donkey? Well, I never. Now, dear, calm down, said Mary's dad. Come and see the baby. He's a lovely little chap, just like our Mary. Let's have a look at him then, she said. Oh, Mary, what a little sweetheart. He's certainly got your eyes. Who's Granny's special boy then? Meanwhile, Reuben the dog had not taken to the three wise men, nor indeed had they taken to him. He had been yapping rather rudely at them since he arrived and was now tearing at the hem of the oldest one's cloak. One of the wise men aimed a sly kick at Reuben Jesus's granny saw this. Right, she said, as she clapped her hands together. Thank you for coming and for all the lovely presents, but Mary needs her rest now, and I'm sure you'll be wanting to be off. And the three wise men rather agreed with her. Nothing very wise about the presents they brought you, granny said, as she closed the door behind them. Grandad and I thought we'd give you a nice pram. Joseph, I think that donkey and that cow would be better outside, don't you? Granny said, in the sort of voice which really wasn't a question at all. Joseph, who had been really quite relieved to see Granny, said, OK, Granny, whatever you say. This made her smile in a pleased sort of way. She bent over to tickle Jesus. Who's Granny's special boy then? Jesus cooed and smiled at her. Look, Grandad, said Granny, he's pleased to see us. And no wonder with all these strangers about. Now, Mary dear, about this lamb. It was very sweet of the shepherds to bring him, but he'll grow into a sheep, you know, and where will you keep him then? It'll be the story of the guinea pigs all over again. Best you take him back with you, dearies, she said to the shepherds as she showed them to the door. Jesus gave a little whimper and Mary looked sad. You know, dear, said Grandad, the lamb could share our old horse's stable. Then Jesus could play with him when he comes to stay. Oh, all right then, you old softy, said his wife, but just you look after him. We'll look after him together, won't we, Jesus, said Grandad. He picked up baby Jesus, who was now chuckling happily. Granny sat down beside Mary. Well, our Mary, I will say that I was a bit upset. I wanted everything to be perfect for our first grandchild. But I must admit, this is very nice, just the family. Reuben, will you leave that lamb alone? Funny, he doesn't usually like babies, but he does seem to have taken to our Jesus. Aren't the stars wonderful tonight? It's like they're shining just for Jesus. Well, listen to me, what a silly old granny I am. Night, night, everyone. Night, night, granny, special boy. God bless. Thank you, Lisa. Um, Kath's going to lead our prayers now. 
Okay, so we're going to have two prayers that I'm going to read to you, and then we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. So the first prayer. Dear God, as the excitement builds on Christmas Eve and we put our stockings out waiting for Santa to arrive, let us remember the true meaning of Christmas. Take us back 2,000 plus years when Mary and Joseph rode on a donkey to Bethlehem, where Jesus was born in a lowly stable with no grandeur, no throne, no tinsel, no Christmas tree. Remember those who came to see him that until that time didn't know the message he would bring us, the shepherds and later the kings. As we put our stockings up tonight, let us remember and pray for all those Jesus that, came, that Jesus came to save us and all those that may be not as lucky as us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing your son to this world to save us. Amen. I've just lost my second prayer, bear with me. The Guiding Star. Lord, the sight of the guiding star brought hope, courage and joy to those who journeyed to find you. When our journey seems long, Lord, when hope seems far away, when our courage is failing, fill us with faith and trust. Shine your light on your, our fears, Lord. Lift our joy, our hearts with joy. Help us to recognize you in our brothers and sisters throughout the world. Show us how we can work together so we may come to share in life promised to us by Jesus, the saviour of us all. Amen. So we're now going to say the Lord's Prayer together. I'm going to say the traditional version. You can say whichever version you want. And as Susan says, in whatever language you want. So let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sacrifices as we forgive those who sacrifice against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the power. Amen. Thank you, Kath. So we heard a lovely little story there about granny going to Bethlehem. I don't think she did go to Bethlehem, but if she had, I'm sure that's what she would have done. And I did love the little bit about the dog. We saw a dog just now. Who showed us their dog? So that's Sonia's dog. Yeah, it was very, very cute. And I know lots of other of you have, have dogs. And I just thought, I thought it was just really nice to think about it a little bit differently um, when we're remembering what Jesus did coming down to earth um, to save us. It's a really good thing to celebrate at Christmas, even if we can't celebrate it the same way as we usually do. So today, the most unusual crib service we've ever done. But I do hope you're enjoying it. So we're going to sing again. We're going to sing, come and join the celebration. So um, Catherine's going to put that on the screen. Ooh, even before I open my mouth. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the good news is if you don't know it, I won't know if you don't know it. So just have a go, do join in. Come and join the celebration, it's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation, there's a new king born today. See the shepherds hurry down to Bethlehem. Gaze in wonder at the Son of God who lay before them. Come and join the celebration, it's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation, there's a new king born today. Wise men journey, led to a 
worship by a star, kneeling homage, bringing precious gifts from lands afar. So come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. God is with us. Round the world the message bring. He is with us. Welcome all the bells on earth are pealing. Come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. So I hope you enjoyed that one. That's one of my favourites. The words are fantastic and it's a nice, nice energetic song. So we've got um, a blessing, Christmas blessing to close that Kath is going to bring to us. We'll leave it on the screen. Christmas blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men and the obedience of Joseph and Mary, the peace of the Christ child be yours. And Christmas, sorry, beg your pardon, peace of the child, Christ child be yours this Christmas. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and those we love this Advent, this Christmas and always. Amen. Amen.